think so. If not, if not, we'll just muddle through anyway. <laughs> okay. All right. Your visual is showing and the, the activity should be recording. I wanted to share the screen, which is what I'm doing now. And this is week two. Welcome to week two of the Speak Excellent English Fluency course with Dr. Priscilla. I am Dr. Priscilla and we have Bassam who is here today. Bassam, are you able to see my screen that has English fluency with Dr. Priscilla? Uh, no, no. You can't see I don't it. see anything. Okay. Well, why don't you go ahead and log into the, the wiki and you can see it, although it will be showing on my screen. You'll just be looking at it from your own screen. Yeah, actually, I'm, uh, I'm already in the wiki. Okay. So, Okay. Where should I go exactly? Well, we're going to go into we're going to go into your file, and I think mm -hmm. I'm I think I'm sharing now, but we'll see. So yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. Uh, I see now your screen. So. Okay, I had not clicked the share button. <laughs> so uh, yeah. this was an introduction for those of you who may be joining me for the first time today. You'll notice that there will be a total of six weeks. This is week two. I'm going to click on week two. And just like week one and week two, week three will have the same. When it is time for the class, you can just click the link and it will tell you how many days, how many hours it will be before it is time for your class. Then if this purple link, blue link, or whatever color it is, is available, you can log in and type your name. But that's not where we are today. I'm going to go to the blogging page now and the only blogger that we have to date is Bassam. But here are the articles that you were to read. Choose one. Then locate your blogging page. This is where you would find the instructions. Over to the right is the student blogs. And I gave instructions in a video how to create your blog. So this is Bassam's blog and he was to read about one of the articles that was posted and record his voice, which is what he's done. Now we won't listen to that. If you're new to the wiki or you're new to this session, you can check it out and listen to it. Here are comments between Bassam and myself, and I try to comment to everyone, whether it was week one, week two, and of course going into week three, I will do the same. So today, we're going to look at, first I'm going to try to look at um, the voice thread that was created. And Bassam was responding to the request that I could not open up his voice thread. The purpose of the voice thread is to give you real time uh, hearings or an opportunity to listen to your voice and to listen to me give you feedback on what it is that you've said. So the voice thread is Hello, coming. Dr. Priscilla. Thank you so much for the advices uh, which you gave me. So uh, I'm trying to reread the text again and uh, to do uh, a summary as you, you told me. So let's begin. A uh, company pays its workers to sleep. A company in the USA is paying its employees to sleep more. Staff at the insurance company Arena will get three hundred dollar a year added to their salary if they get a list. So I'm going to stop the video there. If you want to listen, you can listen to it. I'm going to scroll down to see if I can find the summary, which is what I have not heard yet. The year because workers do not sleep more than seven hours a night. A 2015 study in Europe by the Rand Corporation found that staff who slept less than seven hours per night were far less necessary for the average workers to sleep seven hours per night. By doing that, they will be more productive. In addition, a lack of sleeping can affect the worker performance. However, the company will save more than they pay to the employees if they, if the worker are alert and awake. So, I hope uh, I did well, and thank you so much, Dr. Priscilla, again. Uh, I'm waiting for your advice. Thank you so much. Okay, now it is quite possible that there is a summary in there. Did you have a summary in there, or was that 
that just yep. reading? Uh, I think it's uh, in uh, minute, minute two or okay. uh, 2.00. Okay. Well, I won't comment on it right now, but I will do as I would if I had listened to it. I will go back and listen to it. So this is what my comments would be. I would click on the plus symbol here. I would choose, well, I know I probably can't use the camera because I'm already using my camera. Right now, I'm just going to use the microphone. And it is not necessary that anyone use the camera if you're not comfortable using the camera. And I'm just going to leave some feedback. Notice that this is a camera of Bassam speaking. You will not see a camera with mine. I'll click Allow. You get the countdown. <coughs> And I'm just going to quickly say thank you so much for participating in reading the article. And I'll listen to it again to give you even more in-depth <laughs> feedback. Now I'll click Stop Recording, Save. And you'll see that the P is for Priscilla over to the left. And my feedback is about 10 seconds in length. So I'll click on the P to listen to my feedback. In reading the article, and I'll listen to it again to give you even more in-depth <laughs> feedback. Now I'll click stop. Okay, so that was the end of that. I'm going to close this, but just so you'll know that it's it's a iterative process. Iterative means that once you do something, I will do something. You do something, I do something. So if you ask a question, I'll answer it. And you're getting your answers almost in real time. You can also use this as an opportunity to practice your vocabulary, and I'll teach you how to do that in this lesson while building fluency. I'm going to close this screen now and go back to, these are some wikis that I have created. This is an interesting one. I'll just show this one to you very quickly. This one. is unit one. Getting to know you. And this is just me talking one, two, three, four where we do a matching activity. We try to focus on present tense, past tense, and future tense, and fill in the blanks there. That's just because it came up. I showed it to you. Now I'm back to the voice thread. Today I want to show you, um, I forget what is the name of it. Uh, let me just pause my computer for just a moment because I forget what the name of it is. All right, in week three, you're going to create a study stack. This is going to be very instrumental in helping you to create your vocabulary. Are you still able to hear me, Bassam? Yep, yeah, of okay. course, yes. So here are lots of study stacks that I have created, and <coughs> you will, of course, create your own. You will just go to studystack.com, You'll have to log in, and it will take you through those standard procedures of what is your name, what is your email address. It's all personal. I do not have access to your study stack unless you give me access to your study stack. Let's take a look uh, at one of my students' study stack, Alexandra. I'm going to click on it. And at the present time, he has... Uh, he has more than five cards, but this times you to determine how good you are at determining your understanding and comprehension of what you have written. So I'm going to click, he has five cards. And neglected, now if you find that some of these are spelled wrong, it's because he spelled it wrong. But this one's spelled correctly. On the back of neglected is the definition, lack of proper care. If uh, it's like, uh, uh, how, uh, what's his name? Uh, I forget uh, its name. This is uh, some kind of like a flashcard, yes. Yes, flash card. exactly. And mm. fl and the flashcard program is, this, is easy and good to use too. So if you know this word, you put it here. Dividends. If you don't know this word, you can take a look and say, oh, no, I didn't know that one, and put it over here. Undoubtedly, uh, with certainty, say that you knew that one. Treated, knew that one. Reap, 
And of course, you can always look at the back of it and didn't know the know that one. And he has one card left, which is Bond. And let's say he knew the name, he knew that one. So here it tells you the percentage that you have in the words that you know, how long it took you to get there. The next thing, what I like about this is that you get to do matching activities. It's something that you can just, instead of playing those games with the marbles on your cell phone, learn while playing. Reap means, hmm, let's see, which one does it mean? To receive the benefit. So let's just see, great, I got that one right. Going in a specific direction <coughs> means headed. Ongoing means with certainty. And, ah, oh, that one was wrong. Treated, money paid on investment. Oh, that's wrong. Dividends, money paid on investment. Yay. Ongoing, uh, wrong. Uh, something that is continuous, ongoing. Bond to held, held together. Treated, and nope. Treated, that one is correct. Involved. Nope. Connected. Yes, undoubtedly. But you would be saying these things. Undoubtedly, with certainty. Happen. <coughs> that happened in the past and involved. And once you get the picture, you have a picture. What I suggest that you do when you get a picture, just make you a, a brief uh, statement, question, comments about the picture. This picture happened. Uh, I took this picture when I was on vacation. It occurred at the time I was uh, experiencing difficulty on my job and I wanted to get away, but I didn't want to neglect my family. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, so so just, you, the vocabulary to describe the picture. Yes, just What's use the, okay. just use the vocabulary to describe the picture to reinforce what you uh, currently know. Then there are, uh, other, there are other games that you can play. You can do a quiz if you like, treat it, choose one. Many different things that you can do. Now let's go back. Let's go here and find out how do we actually create create the uh, study stack. Uh, I think you just here are your vocabulary words. I'm going to create a new one. If I can find it, I'm going to pause myself for a second. All right, so when you're ready to create your own study stack, the reason I have Alexander's study stack in my stack of study stacks is because he shared it with me. So you will go back to this first page and you'll click Create New Stack. I'm going to call this one the English, English, P-N-G-L, English Fluency Stack and creation, creation of study words. This is what I'm calling it. I can have question and answer, term and definitions, custom. I'm going to have the term and the definition. That's what I want mine to be. I'm going to do nothing more. You can allow others to edit this set, allow others to view this set, and generate random fill in the box. So I'm going to click I'm going to select Save Changes now, and I'm ready to create my study stack. So now that I've created my study stack, you've, your changes have been saved. Click the Data tab to enter. I'll click the Data tab. Now I'm ready to add my vocabulary words. What I'm going to do is go to today's <coughs> lesson. Um, let's see, where is today's lesson? which I'm not sure if it's down here. I'm looking for today's lesson. So I'm going. So our lesson for today is from the Breaking News English mini lesson. And it's going to be um, Pokemon Go is the next big thing. I'll look over here to the left, to the right, because these are the words that we're going to use today released, sensation, capture, overtake. I'm just going to use uh, four of these just to show you how it is done. I'm going to write these down on a separate sheet of paper. R-E-L-E-A-S-E-D. 
sensation capture and overtake. And if I look in the column to my right, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, after we've read the article, which we will do, we will find the word that goes with released. Released means E, which is issued. Sensation is to, I uh, suppose, leap, issue, follow, singled out, smash, hit, advise, and catch. Sensation, sensation. I don't have to think. I'll think about that one. What do you think it might mean? Capture? Lips. I think lips. No? No, I don't think that. <laughs> Capture is to catch. Sensation and, is about uh, something that you feel. Or yeah, it's a, it's a feeling. Extraordinary. Feeling. Machines. Surpass. Leaped. Issued. Follows. Singled out. Smash hit, advise, and catch. I don't necessarily think that I see the answer immediately. So overtake means to surpass. So let's just take these three. Now I'm going to go back to my study stack. The term that I want to use is release. R-E-L-E-A-S-E-D. Okay. The definition for release is to issue. I -S -S -U -E. Now, I'm going to put my sentence. The government released information regarding taxes last week. You can put whatever you want. You can actually go to a link and get a, de a definition, which would be but you need to write the definition so it makes sense to you. So here it says, uh, allow or enable to escape from confinement or to set free. Now I really like that. I really like that uh, answer. Release means to set free, but in today's article, it doesn't mean to set free. It means issued. So things become relative to what you're reading. Do you understand? Yeah, of course. Okay, so here are the word. My second word is going to be capture, which means to catch, C A T C H. Oh, and the criminal was captured and placed in prison. And you can go to a dictionary online to find out what it means. But in this article that we're going to read today, it does not mean that it is a criminal. And then the last one is overtake. We go over to our definition and it means to surpass. Um, surpass means to, well, the cars were following behind a huge truck and were suddenly overtaken by an ambulance that was traveling at a high rate of speed. Okay, This just helps me to know what overtake means. Now I click on Save Changes. I will go to matching and overtake. You can see how my words and things are here. Released. Yeah. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. The reason I have uh, release, release, for it to work, you need to have at least 10 words. You have correct, uh, at least 10 words. Yeah, and I only had five. So yeah. there was that. And then if you click on the flashcards, here are my flashcards. Release means to uh, it's issued. So I know that's right. Capture. Let's just say I don't know what that one is. And I put that one there. And then the last one, overtake, means to surpass. So I'll put that one here. So here you see that it took me 19 seconds, but I should be able to beat that second. If it took me 19 seconds, I should be able to do it in five.
five seconds. That would yeah. be that would be pretty much my goal. And if you make a mistake, you can go down here <coughs> and make the corrections down here with uh, the words somehow. All right. Are there any questions about the study stack and how to create a study stack? No, it's all clear, and I think it's uh, interesting. Okay. So. so that this is what you'll be doing in week two. I mean, in week three, you'll create a study stack and send and share the link with me. I'm going to. Close. So I, uh, I have to choose another uh, another text or to yeah. just uh, repeat the the text that I, uh, that I have read before. No, I want you to choose another text. What okay. you can what you can you can also add the vocabulary from the text that you have had last week. This, yeah, this study to make stack, yeah, this, this study stack is for you. All right, so today we're going to read this article. I'll ask you to read the article. You may start when you're ready. Yeah, so uh, Pokemon. I read from your uh, screen. Yes, or, read, from, okay. read from my screen. <coughs> Pokemon Go is the next big thing. The Japanese games games Nintendo has released on applications that is taking the world by storm. The next big, big thing and new internet sensation is an argumented reality game called Pokemon Go. Players m must physically move around the real world in order to capture mis mystical creatures called Pokemon, short for Pocket Monsters. It was only officially released last week. In the USA, New Zealand, and Australia, it is about to overtake Twitter in the number of daily active users, and it hasn't even been launched globally yet. Analy uh, analysis, analysts, An ana analysts, 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 mm -hmm. analysts report that in the just. Uh, 48, uh, 40, uh, 48 hours, uh, Go was installed on 5.6% of all Android dev devices in the USA. On, av on average, users are spending twice as much time on Go than uh, on an application like uh, Snapchat. Snapchat. Pokemon Go has already jumped to the top of the application store on Google Play Store. It is also having an uh, under uh, unprecedented, 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 unprecedented social impact. Hackers have uh, tried targeted illegal copies of the application in, uh, to affect millions of smartphones. Okay, that would be other that would be targeted. Targeted. Tar targeted illegal copies in the application of the application to infect millions of smartphones. Other criminals have used the game to to lure uh, in suspecting players to go to locations or collect Pokemon characters, character, and then rob them or uh, burgle their empty house. The application tracks your location via GPS as you walk around looking for Pokemon. The website PCMag.com advised don't go walking around neighborhoods late at night for your Pokemon. Fix it. You can collect Pokemon in public. Crowd Rees recommend doing that instead of shady spots at 2 a.m. Okay, fantastic. Now, I won't ask you to summarize this article just yet, but we're now going to take a look at the synonym match words. Remember, those were the words that you will be adding to your study stack if these are words that are very difficult for you to really understand. We talked about the word released, sensation. I don't think we did sensation. We did capture and overtake. So. So quickly look over to the synonym match and see if there are words over there that you cannot pronounce or you don't know. Released extraordinary sensation machines capture sur sur surpass surpass overtake lift devices 
huge jumps follows unprecedented. This word is seems to be difficult. Okay, unprecedented, 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 mm -hmm. unprecedented. Mm -hmm. Good. Unprecedented. Uh, singled out. Trag. Tragged. Targeted. Okay, that's going to be targeted. 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 Target. Targeted. Good. Target. Mm -hmm. Targeted. Targeted. Smash hit. Smash hit. Tracks. Advice. Recommend. Catch. Good. So you can pronounce all of them. The only two that gave you difficulty in pronunciation is unprecedented and targeted. So you want to focus on those words when you put them in your study stack to know that mm, whenever you get it right, you'll know that you have gotten it right. We would also do some discussion, but this would be if you were working in a group. Since we don't have a group, we will not be doing a discussion. Or you can do a discussion in your um, voice thread. Tell me what your opinion is of the social impact the apps had. I will listen to what you think. I'll give you my opinion. Then you can counter with some other thoughts and it would go back and forth that way. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. All right. Yeah. In addition to using the study stack, now we would go back to our wiki and add pictures to help us visualize this. But before we go to do that, we're now going to look at how to build a conversation about what we've read. So what I'm going to ask you to do is give me the name four things that you remember, four words that you remember in this article. For example, so, you might tell me Pokemon, you might tell yeah. me any four words that you want. What four words can you remember? You know, when I say words, it could be two words, three words, no more than four words to help you remember a concept, an idea, or something from the article. So uh, I can remember uh, a word spell, uh, spell, spell that for me. Sorry? Spell that word that you just said. Uh, o, O, V, E, R, T, A, K. What? Cup. I don't know what letter is that. Overtake. Oh, uh, overtake. Overtake. K. K. Yeah, K. Overtake. Okay. K. E. Okay. Another. And it's not so much that we're looking for vocabulary words. I'm not really looking for vocabulary words. Yeah. So, uh, uh, see. neighborhood. N-E-I-G. N. Yeah. Okay. Neighbor. okay. Another word? Application, for example. Application. Okay, and one more. Um, Google Store. Google Play Store. Okay, now what I want you to do is give me a sentence using overtake from the article. Not so much that the word, the sentence comes from the article, but something that you understood from the article that used overtake. Overtake, so... Mm, uh, you know, I forgot about the meaning of overtake. Okay, well, we used as our definition that the ambulance overtook the drivers that were following behind the truck. So it means to surpass. To, oh. to surpass. Mm -hmm. and Surprise. Okay, so. Uh, so how? What were, how, what were they talking? Yes. About, what were they talking about in the article when they used the word overtake? Uh, I can't remember. Just okay, let's, give me let's a see. Okay, here it is. Here it is. Says that it is about to overtake Twitter and the number of daily active users. Uh, so uh, it's about to be more public. Popular, probably. Yeah, it's about to be more popular okay. and get uh, more places. It's about to overtake what? 
to overtake Twitter, Facebook, and the social media, the social networks, media. Okay, An another sentence using neighborhood. Uh, neighborhood. Uh, when the application uh, told you to, so uh, have I uh, make a sentence in rela in relation uh, with uh, the story? Yes. The okay, and the application. Give me a sentence using the application. The application of Pokemon Go can can make uh, a danger. Can be a danger. Dangerous. Okay, and the Google Play Store. One of the most uh, popular application in Google Play Store is Pokemon Go. Okay, so there we have our sentences. Can you read those sentences, those four sentences? Yeah, Pokemon is about to overtake social media sites. The suggestion is that we should not go uh, to neighborhoods at night. The application of Pokemon Go can be dangerous. One of the most popular games in Google Play Store is the Pokemon Go. Fantastic. So now what we're going to do is focus on these four sentences or these four words it's because we know what they mean, and if we need to have some explanation, we can look up here. I will be student A, and as you think about it, what would you say when I speak to you about whatever it is that we're going to talk about? And so I would say, hello, P. I just went, I just downloaded the... Pokemon Go. What do you think about that? What would you say? Oh, hello. Uh, I think uh, uh, many people are talking about this application and uh, it seems to be so dangerous. So what we're doing now is getting deeply in our mind what these words, these vocabulary words actually mean by using them. Okay. Yeah. How can an application downloaded from the Google Play Store be dangerous? What would you say? Uh, actually, there is uh, hackers who want to stole uh, uh, the users uh, of this application by by uh, telling them to, for example, to <coughs> go out for searching for Pokemon. Then they will steal or yeah, they will uh, sell uh, their home or. At, at night and then steal their houses. Okay, so this might not be perfect, but you get the idea. So if this were to happen to me, I think I would not use such an application. Although I have already, although I feel as if the idea of Pokemon Go has overtaken my common sense. Okay, what would you say? Remember, so, you want to focus on these words up here too. Try to use, try to use these words often, often, often. 
Okay. Okay. So if it doesn't want to happen to me, I think I would not use astronaut. Gil has overtaken it. Okay. Yeah, uh, hanging out with the neighborhood and uh, try uh, is more interesting. Uh, is more is more interesting uh, of uh, this kind of application that can uh, uh, that can uh, affect you or that can offer that can overtake. Okay, so now, and then we're going to end it. I must go now. See you soon. Okay, take care and don't get too caught. J U G H T up and looking for the. Okay, let's quickly do this reading of the activity and go on to the final one for week three. Hello, Bessem. I just downloaded the Pokemon Go. What do you think about that? Hi, Dr. Priscilla. I think many people are talking about this application and it seems to be so dangerous. How can an application downloaded from the Google Play Store be dangerous? It can be dangerous because hackers are trying to convince people to leave their homes and, they get, and go into neighborhoods and then steal from their homes at night. So if this were to happen to me, I think I would not use such an application. Although I feel as if the idea of Pokemon Go has overtaken my common sense. You know, hanging out in the neighborhood is more interesting with this application. This truly can affect your sense of sensibilities and overtake your common sense. However, you must remember the dangers. I see your point. Okay, I must go now. See you soon. Okay, take care and don't get too caught up in looking for Pokemon. Okay, so there we have that. And the last thing that we're going to do is go back to the wiki and we'll go to your blog. Let me know if you can see your screen. Let me see the screen. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure where your blog well, This is your blog. So to get to your blog, I'll go here. And I'm going to go down here. And this, I think it probably should be up here though. So this is going to be week two. Week two. English fluency. I'm going to put the line here so I'll know where I am and go here. So I think I want to know what a Pokemon is. P O K E M I N. Pokemon. <coughs> I'm going to go out and find a Pokemon. And to find a Pokemon, I'm going to go to images. And I'm just going to choose this first one. Save image, copy image. Now, I don't know if everybody's computer will do this, or you can go to save image as yeah. and save it to your computer, <coughs> but it takes so long to do that. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go, I just copied it to my, well, I think I've already frozen it. I may have a, a bit too much open, but once I get back to, see it says it's not responding. Once I get back to, I'll just say it here. P O K. P O K. Pokemon. Save it in my pictures. And save. So you can save it there. Then go back to here. Click insert a link. Since I'm already I did it, I'm going to go here. 
insert images and files, upload the file, go to my pictures, look for my Pokemon, type in Pokemon. These are the same instructions that I've sent previously. And here's my Pokemon and it's uploaded. So now I'll place my cursor here and I'll put Pokemon. So there's my Pokemon. To make it a little smaller, I just click on that little box there because I don't need it that big. And there's my Pokemon. Or I could, I have it also on my mouse. I'll just do the right click and save, but I'll take this one out. Then I might put this article was interesting. Let's see. Today, I learned about the dangers of this new application named hey, okay, Pokemon Go. And anything else that you want, uh, vocabulary words learned today, vocabulary words. Um, what were some of the words that we put in our study stack? What was that word that gave you difficulty in saying? <coughs> Release. What was that word that gave you some difficulty in saying? Do you remember? Uh, try, try, targeted. Targeted. Okay. Targeted. Mm. So T A R G E T. Targeted. Okay, I'm going to put in targeted just so that I can remember. Ah, so there's a good one. Copy image. And I'm going to go to target images and here targeted. So if you put a vocabulary word and a picture in your blog, you know, you just need to just go through here every now and again and you'll create something. You can create it in your own language. It would be better to put it in English though. Um, um, simply locates something, the mark, so that when you hear it, you'll immediately understand it. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, so you actually can just fill up your wiki page with pictures and words, and as time goes on, you may add more vocabulary words to how did you use targeted, and then some days you can come back and say, I want to be sure that I use this word today. You just make a game out of learning, and you can do mm -hmm. this, do the same thing whether you're using German, English, Italian, whatever it is that you're learning. You can okay. uh, you can do that. Okay, I'm stop sharing. I'm coming back to the screen. This takes us to the end of week two, and as you had requested, is it possible for you to invite some of your friends? It certainly is. Next week. I will post the time as I've done before when the class starts for week two. And if you have questions, post them. I will send information for week three. In week three, other things that you will be doing, such as what should you read, what should you do, and how you should do it. All right. Did you enjoy today's uh, today's session? Uh, I, uh, I enjoyed today's session and I learned a lot of stuff. Okay. Beautiful stuff. So uh, what I'm going to do the next step is to to work on my blog page. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, well, that sounds so, fantastic. If you have questions, you can always post the question in the appropriate wiki link because that's where I'm looking. So you'll give me feedback for week two in week two, and then we will go to week three where you will find your instructions by midnight tonight for week three. Okay? Oh, okay, great. That's great. Thanks. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. I really enjoyed talking with you, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye. Thank you. Take Thank care. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.